Hi, and welcome back. I think tonight we'll, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, continue on over here. It's kind of doing like we did before. Uh, may try to see where some of them welds are on that uh, back piece that we're going to take off. And uh, I might try to brace that back part up underneath that uh, top part that's staying. Put a piece of metal going all the way to the floor there, maybe. Thought it couldn't hurt to keep the back end from what I was afraid the front end was going to do was I was sitting like this and kind of tilt like that. But we might might try that. Try to tack a piece of metal in there. But my main, main goal is to uh, get more of this done. Don't know how much I'll get done today. It's already really hot out here and I'm already starting to sweat and I just come into the shop. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll try to get as much done as we can. Of course, we got the wasps again. Anyways, let's get to it. Actually, what I think I might do instead right now is try to clean this up some and see if I need to uh, do any more work welding on it. Got a feeling that I'm going to have to. Can't see if there's a hole right there. Probably had to weld that up again and uh, see what it looks like. I think I'm gonna clean this up right quick. that's coming out better than I, than I thought. I will have to uh, tack weld it right there again. But I think the rest of it's pretty well on there and it's relatively, oops, sorry about that, relatively flat through here. I mean, I need to grind it down some more, obviously, and right through here. 
getting over those big bumps, but it's actually not, not as bad as I thought. I need to work on getting this roughly the same as the body. There's some little bit of lips and stuff. We'll uh, get that all worked out. But yeah, pretty happy how that turned out. And it's, it's on there, it's not coming off. Of course, we'll put some seam sealer in it and call it good. I think we'll uh, work on this a little bit. But it's still not too terribly hot out here. Uh, try to get more of it peeled back. I'm pretty happy where we made it to tonight. We're close to uh, cutting that part off, but uh, don't know really how to get that that off that bolt out. So I, I can turn it, but it spins on the bottom. I don't want to lose the bushing between it and that, because I was going to leave it there while I put the new floor pan on, and then once. Once I get that on, or once I get that floor paint on, that one over there, I'm able to take the body off 
I was gonna replace all of the body mounting bolts with new uh, bushings and stuff like that. But I was wanting to leave that on there so it's all the same height, sort of, I guess. That way, if I had to put a new one on there, this one would probably raise it up, you know, a little bit. Since this one's pretty much squished. But, uh, anyways, we gotta figure out how to get that off and finish this out. But I think that'll do it for me today. As you can see again, it's daylight out, and I, I like that better. It's also better when you're welding to have daylight, and I come to find out. Uh, but yeah, it's extremely hot in here. Feels like a sauna. And if you can't see all my friends buzzing around, uh, I'm kind of getting on my nerves. But I think next time we'll finish that off there, cut it, try to get that bolt out, and then we'll start taking that back portion off. And uh, once we do that, we'll start cutting some straight lines maybe building some a flange for that back part where that one piece will sit on and uh, trying to mock fit the new floor pan in as best we can and then hopefully cut the straight lines on it and weld it in but we got a lot of cleanup to do and a bunch of other stuff for before that happens but uh if you made it this far thank you uh if you're new to the channel i post every monday wednesday and friday usually something on the bronco i think maybe tomorrow we might put a battery in the healy and just start it up for a minute i need to get it turned over uh and then we'll jump back on the bronco but uh yeah you're supposed to have on the bronco we're trying to get this one done before we moved on move on to the next project and uh anyways that's my main main focus right now is getting this back on the road uh and if you don't know, I'm planning on doing this all by myself. I don't want to paint it, but I mean, if it comes down to it, I'll paint it myself. But uh, everything else, I'll be doing it either myself or I'll have help with my father. He He's a great mechanic. He knows everything you need to know about engines and transmission, suspension, everything like that. I'll have him help me with that. But uh, pretty much body work is going to be on me. And I have no clue how to do it, but we'll learn as we go. Anyways, uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next.